In this video, I'm going to go over setting up PHD2 guiding software with the use of your Raspberry Pi Ecos Indie server. Now, doing this, I've done this on a workbench here. I've set up my equipment on the bench and I decided to set up and configure PHD2 on the bench because it will be easier than trying to do this with the equipment outside. Uh, I recommend you do the same thing. So, in order to start this process, and I recommend using this process because it's been most successful uh, in setting up. It's kind of like the chicken and the egg story uh, with PHD2 and in Indy. If you don't do it in the right order, you could get into a situation where the camera won't connect, the mount won't connect, uh, and basically the, uh, the installation will fail uh, during the installation process of the equipment in PHD2. So in my process I will start uh, KSTARS. We'll bring that up and we'll bring up uh, ECOS. You want to verify that your profile is set up and I'm, let me show you what you need to do for your profile. You want to set up a profile that says internal or guiding is set up for PHD2 along with your server name for your Raspberry Pi. In this case, mine is Eco Server Test WL. You also want to make sure that this is checked for the Indie Webs Manager. You want to verify that your equipment is correct, and if it is, you're all set. Go ahead and save. From here you want to start ECOS and you want to verify your equipment is set up and running, which it is here. Go ahead and hit close out of the Indie control panel and that will do it for now. Just leave this running in background. The next step will be to bring up a terminal and log into your Raspberry Pi. Now when you do this you want to use, if you're using Linux, you want to use a minus uppercase X as an argument for SSH. This enables X forwarding. If you followed my video on KSTARS and Windows, you'll find that we've already set that up using the PuTTY configuration, so you, this won't be necessary. So once you hit a return, it'll ask you for your password. And it'll bring up your login. The next step is to start PHD2. We do that by typing PH, PHD2 and an ampersand. As a reminder, the ampersand puts it in background. And this will start the window session for PHD2. Now when you bring this up for the first time, you'll see that it does the first light wizard, which is perfectly fine. You want to hit next. And you want to choose your camera. And we're going to choose Indie Camera. Is the camera already connected to the PC? It is, and it's going to try and determine the pixel size. Now when this pops up, use the driver pull-down to find your camera. Now this is a unique situation for me because I have a single driver ZWO and I'm using two different devices. Uh, if I was using my refractor as a bench test, you would have seen the main camera and a QHY uh, guide camera. But in this case, uh, we want to choose the, the guide camera. Leave this as main. Um, I don't think you want to change this to secondary, so leave this as main. And hit OK. For some reason it popped out and grayed out. Just click in there if it does that again um, and just hit next. It, by the way, if you look up here, you'll see that it found the proper um, pixel size. The other thing we need to make sure we change is the focal length. 
uh, in my guide scope, it's 176 millimeters. Hit next. With the mount, go ahead and use the pull down and select the indie mount. You don't have to worry about this declination access as a high precision encoder. Most mounts don't, mine doesn't. If yours does, please check it. Hit next. And for the auxiliary mount, we don't need to worry about this. Hit next again. And then when this comes up with this message, go ahead and click proceed. We don't have adaptive optics here, so go ahead and uh, hit next. And this is where you give the profile. Now when I give the profile name, I like to give some clarity of what the profile actually is. Uh, for me, I'm going to put Orion uh, 50 millimeter um, ASI profile name to give some sort of meaning. Then hit finished. Now it will try to connect to the camera. Now this process takes a little bit of time, I've noticed. We'll just let it go through its, its uh, connection. Then it'll connect to the mount. Now when it tries to connect to the mount, it looks for a driver. Go ahead and do the pull down menu again and, and it should show the driver. In this case, it's IEQ. Hit OK, and it connects to the to the mount. Now, this also might take a little bit of time to respond. Let it let it go through its its process. Now, this is where you could set up your dark library for your guide camera. Um, normally, you would set up your 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 minimum and maximum exposure. I don't think six seconds. A lot of people guide at six seconds. I think I usually guide right around one to three seconds for the most part, but I'll increase the time to, to four. We'll take um, five exposure times and we're going to create a new library uh, for the new darks. And I'm going to just put um, initial darks for the note and hit start. It'll ask you to cover the guide. I did. And that'll start building the master dark files. And just let this go. It takes, it takes a while to complete. So I'm going to pause this here and come back when it's ready. Okay, as you can see here, it's finishing up the last of the dark frames. And it's completed. So we could go ahead and uncover. And now we're all set to start guiding. Now, um, we just set up PHD2 configuration. Now I'm going to show you how to start PHD2 uh, with ECOS. And this is the way I use it for my operational. It's, it usually works flawlessly. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, clean everything up here. I'm going to exit out of here. I'll go ahead and exit out of here and go ahead and exit out of uh, K stars. Disconnect, stop, and quit. All right, again, the first step you want to do is you want to log into your Ecos Indie server without starting KSTARS this time. And you want to start PHD2 like we did before. So PHD2 ampersand, let that come up. And then we're going to go ahead and start KSTARS. So go ahead and bring up KSTARS. Bring up ECOS. Verify that your everything looks good here and go ahead and start ECOS. Verify that your your cameras, mounts, and accessories are up and running. Go ahead and close. And that's it. Now let's go over to the 
Uh, let's go over to PHD2 right now, and you'll see that everything is automatically connected. Uh, the equipment's connected here, and it looks perfectly normal. So that's how you start and configure PHD2 for ECOS. Now the next video I plan when there's a clear night will go over setting up the guiding initially for your for your setup. And this will go over um, starting the guide process and setting up the various options. Now keep in mind I'm not an expert at PHD2. I've had great success with PHD2. Uh, my telescope, for some reason, and mount likes the heavier mounts. Uh, when I use my astrograph, I get very good, typically very good guiding. But when I use a lighter refractor, it's somewhat all over the place. Anyway, that's another discussion. Uh, I'm going to end this video here. And uh, please uh, subscribe and click like. Uh, and we'll see you in the next time. Clear skies.